Hi guys, it's Misty from The Book Rat, and it's time for my first book haul of April. And I've got a lot of cool stuff to show you guys, so let's get into it. Should I show the coolest thing first or last? Save the best for last, right? Yeah. So I'll show you another cool thing first. I got this big old package from Hatchet UK, and inside is an awesome stack of books by some awesome female authors. So I got a copy of Riot by Sarah Moosey, which comes out in May. As you probably know, I was a big fan of Siege, which came out last year. This, I'm guessing, is probably sort of a companion. From what I can tell, it's kind of set in the same totalitarian dystopia setting. Kind of near future, but everything's gone to hell. But it, of course, won't follow directly from the end of Siege or the characters from Siege. If you've read it, um, that'll kind of be a no-brainer, but I think this is just kind of expanding that world, so I'm really, really intrigued by that. And just in general, I mean, Siege was a real gut punch, so probably Riot will be much the same. I have already recorded an excerpt of this. I don't know if it'll be up yet by the time that you guys are seeing this one. Um, probably won't be, but when it is up, I will link it right here. So if you want to get a feel for it, click there and check that out. I don't know if or when it will be coming out in the U.S. Wherever you are, if you're able to get your hands on something by Sarah Moosey, I would recommend it. Up next is a copy of... No, no, no that's not next because I'm still in the stack. So easily distracted. Also in the package from Hatchet was Shattered by Terry Terry, which is the third book in the Slated series, which I absolutely love. I've talked about that one numerous times, and I'm pretty sure that both Slated and Fractured ended up in my best of the year videos for their respective years, so that definitely bodes well for Shattered. And I have also recorded a little teaser of this one. I know that one's not up yet, and you guys are probably gonna hate me when it does go up with the way that it ends, but... That just amuses my black and little heart, so I'm okay with that. That may already be out in the UK by the time you're seeing this. It's not out in the US yet, though the first two books are out, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting your hands on that one, and I would recommend that you do start that series if you haven't already. And the last book in the Hatchet Package... Hatchet Packet? Should I say Hatchet Packet? Because that's fun. I'll say that. The last book in the Hatchet Packet is A Midsummer's Nightmare by Cody Keplinger. This one is already out in the U.S. and has been out, um, but it has a different cover, so I didn't realize. I just wasn't paying attention. I think I like this cover better, though. Um, but this it has this little thing that says, I love Hamilton High on it. So I'm guessing that maybe The Duff and some of her other books are probably set at Hamilton High. I don't remember the name of the high school from The Duff because I was more distracted by other things that were going on in that book, but I love The Duff. So I've been meaning to read more by Cody and am eager for this one. I've heard mixed things, but I heard mixed things about the Duff too and ended up loving that. And I felt mixed things about the Duff, but still ended up loving that and have reread it more than once. So that should <laughs> tell you right there. But I am definitely looking forward to this one. And I think if it's not already out in the UK, it's coming out soon. But it is out in the US, so you can pick it up. So three kick-ass female authors from Hatchet. So thank you, Hatchet! Next up is a copy of The Lost by Sarah Beth Durst, which was a total surprise in my mailbox one day from Harlequin, and there was some squealing and some eeping. I'm so excited for this one. I have recorded an excerpt of this one as well. Probably not up yet because this doesn't come out until June, but I will put it up soon. Basically, other than a slight bobble on the first book that I read by Sarah, I have loved all the rest of them, and love that she always changes it up. So no two stories are ever the same or even very similar. She goes for totally different plots, totally different characters, even different styles each time out of the gate, and I really, really respect that. This one is adult. This is her first foray into adult. Still a YA crossover, so it's not like you can't read it if you read her YA or you are YA, but curious to see how and if she changes anything in writing for adult. I think the concept sounds really intriguing, and I'm just ready to dive into this one. So even though it doesn't come out until June, and even though I'm super busy right now, I might have to just sneak it in and throw caution to the wind. It's a silly thing to say when you're talking about reading. Definitely looking forward to this one. Thank you very much, Harlequin. And if you haven't read anything by Sarah, do so. Just do so. 
Up next, you guys already know that this is in my possession because I showed it in this month's TBR and this month's Stack of Five, and it is The Dyerville Tales by M.P. Kozlowski. This is a middle grade fairy tale ish fantasy adventure, and I will be reading it and reviewing it for Fairy Tale Fortnite, so. You'll be finding out my thoughts on this soon. Keep an eye out for the Fairytale Fortnite festivities to begin because I will be talking about it there. I also got an unsolicited copy of Catch a Falling Star by Kim Culbertson in my mail. This one came from Scholastic... yes, Scholastic Point. I hadn't heard of it until it showed up, but it does sound intriguing. Sounds like a perfect lead-in to summer. Sounds like a beachy contemporary read. You know, have fun, maybe some serious in there, but you know, the type of thing that you want to read. And I mean anything with a beautiful sky and sunset like that. Always screams beach read to me. I posted this one on Instagram and had a number of people comment saying that they had read early copies of it and had loved it and a lot of people saying that they like Kim Culbertson in general so if I have a chance I will give it a try and see what I think. Until then if you've read it or you also like Kim let me know in the comments because I hadn't heard of this and I don't really know much about her or her style so kind of going in blind here. And the last thing, prepare yourselves for awesome. I got this box, I can't even fit it, this box <laughs> in the mail from Macmillan and inside it is another box. <laughs> so this is possibly the coolest promotional item. You know that I loved what they did for the Winner's Curse, which was awesome, and it has a dagger that goes with it, um, which is inside under the book, and I don't have enough hands right now to get it out because the other box is in my hands. But love this. Macmillan is really good at doing amazing promotional items, but this might take the cake. So they're not doing ARCs, advanced reader copies, of Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo because it's the final book in the Grisha trilogy and of course they don't want spoilers and all that. So instead of doing review copies, they sent this amazingness. So it's a wood box that has a wood burning of the little sort of stylized Russian Grisha symbology that they use in the book and says the Grisha trilogy and the name of the books. So Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Ruin and Rising. When you slide it open, it's full of amazingness. It comes with a little sort of extended sampler of Rune and Rising that is all stylized and pretty and just so cool. And then it also has these little canisters, if you can see them, which are candles. And they say Summoner, Soldier, and Saint. Awesome. And they smell so good. Summoner is kind of a little floral, a little potion-y gardenia or something. Soldier is very outdoorsy and kind of pine or fir. And Saint is my absolute favorite. And it just smells like heaven. Mmm. I don't even know. But I love it. So you gotta admit, that is pretty badass. Macmillan nails it. I said when I posted it on Instagram, um, Giselle commented that I should definitely keep the box. And I was like, that's not even a question. I'm gonna keep this box forever. It's gonna hold all my secrets. Yeah. Macmillan is awesome sauce. So if that didn't get people excited for Ruin and Rising, I don't know what would. I definitely need to get back into the series. I still haven't read Beach and Storm because I don't have it yet, so I need to pick that up. Um, and I've been kind of craving it lately, so I probably need to do that fairly soon. There isn't enough time in the day. If that would have come with a time turner, only thing that could have topped that box. So that is everything that's been in my mailbox for the last couple weeks. Let me know what you think of the books and the amazingness that I got, and if you have read or want to read any of the goodies, if you want to hear excerpts of any of the books, let me know in the comments, and probably your wish is my command because I recorded excerpts of a few of them already. We have that to look forward to. But that is all for now. As always, thanks for watching, and happy reading!